Alright, let me explain. A long time ago, I uploaded a small little video titled, I Rank the Punch-Out Characters Based on How Hot They Are. I thought it was a funny idea at the time, and it did pretty okay. Then out of nowhere, it blew up and became the most viewed video on my channel ever. So a couple months later, I made a sequel, which also did really well. But then, I ran into an issue. I ran out of Punch-Out characters to rank! And with no Punch-Out sequel in sight, I just had to accept the facts and walk away. But then, I had a realization. What if I ranked characters from a different franchise? I just beat the original Phoenix Wright trilogy not too long ago. What if I ranked the characters from those games? And that brings us to today. Now, there are way more characters throughout this trilogy than I thought there were, so to save some time, I'm only gonna be looking at the people who have appeared in court. Other than that, you know the drill, so let's not waste any more time. Where else to start but with our main hero, Phoenix Wright. Originally, I was gonna put him at B, but now that I thought about it, I think he's deserving of A. I just thought he was kinda standard, and besides the hair, it didn't really have a lot of defining qualities. But now that I'm looking at him more, I can see it. He's got a nice build, good suit, and I must say, in some of the artwork, he looks pretty snazzy, I can't lie. And while I'm a little bit indifferent about the hair, I will say it does give him a unique flair. So you know what? I'm gonna bump him up to A. You did good. Mia Fey. Okay, for this one, I'm a little conflicted. Now, if we were talking about young Mia from the third game, then I would say absolutely S tier. Like, come on. However, old Mia? I don't know, it is something about the face, or I- I just not- not a big fan. Not bad by any means, but not bad, you know? Also, her clothing style is questionable at best. I'll still put you in A, but that's about it. Larry Butts. You know, as much as he's clowned on in the actual series, he's not even the bad looking dude. I like the hairstyle, the goatee's nice, and overall, a fun guy. I'm sure with the right attitude, this guy will find one lucky lady one day. But for now, he's a B. Yeah, I'm gonna say no to Winston Payne. He seems like a pretty insufferable guy to be around, and honestly, a little too full of himself. And you know, his hairline and everything is not doing himself any favors. Who knows, maybe Winston in his prime was a good looker, but for now, he's D. And Frank Saw it is going right next to him for pretty much the same reasons. You know, looking at him more closely, I kind of get Tanaka vibes from him. Just me? Probably. Maya Faye. Now, before some of you say it, I know that in the first game, she was 17. However, the sequel game takes place a year later, where she is 18, and the game after that takes place a year after that, where she's 19. Therefore, I believe it is morally correct to rank her like everyone else. With that said, I think she's very cute. Her clothing and hairstyle are very fun, and all her expressions are adorable. A tier. Honestly, Gumshoe has kinda got a lot going for him. He's got a nice strong build, decent hair I guess, and he's also just a good guy on top of it. And you know, he's always got your guys' back, no matter the situation. Phoenix and Edgeworth may clown on you, buddy, but I know the true you. A tier. Although, speaking of Edgeworth, uh, I feel like we're gonna make a lot of people mad with this one, but he's just kind of okay to me. Like, I get he's trying to go for the pretty boy aesthetic and whatnot, and I'm just not a big fan of that. He's on the same level as Phoenix Wright for me, you know? I'll give points for the suit, though. I'll admit, it's pretty baller. April May is one of those characters that looks all cuteness and on the outside, but once you get her angry, she turns into something else entirely. Although, assuming you don't get on her bad side, she's still a fine pick, I'd say, so I've gotta put her in A, I suppose. Marvin Glossberg is actually pretty decent. He's an old veteran of the court of law. And while he might be on the portly side a bit nowadays, it doesn't seem like he lets that get to him. I'll also give points for a perfect mustache. No notes there. While it's clear that he's past his prime, he doesn't let that get to him, so I'm gonna put him in top of C for now. I mean, the bellboy is just kinda whatever. Average build, average face, I mean, he's got that little orange highlight in his hair, but that's kind of it. See? Now, my personal feelings towards Red White aside, he's just kinda not that great looking. First of all, the purple hair does not match him whatsoever, and the purple suit to go along with it is also kinda whack. Top that off with his egocentric personality, and it's not anyone I really want to spend more than five minutes with at all. See? Ah, you know, like, I like Will Powers, he's a nice guy, but at the same time, it, he's a bit much. Like, just look at that hairstyle. Like, oh my goodness. That is not a man, that is a lion. He's also got the Hulk build going on, which, you know, suits him, but does not help his case in this situation. Again, great guy, but I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to put you in C tier. Yeah, Wendy old bag. You know, who's to say that she wasn't a catch back in her day? But now, yeah, she's a, she's a D -er. Director guy? You know, props to him for being the director of a highly beloved series, 
But you know, you could stand to look a little less like Francis from Super Paper Mario. Yeah, I think we're just gonna slot you right there. And Cody Hawkins is a child, so jail tier. D Vasquez. Honestly, not my style, but I could definitely see the appeal. She gives big noir vibes, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, again, not my type C. You know, the thing with Lotta Hart is that she's pretty good in every other area, except the hair. Like, it is too distractingly large and poofy, and I, it just ruins everything else. I mean, I won't lie, she could be a little bit annoying at times, but you know, she's still like a fine person, but yeah, no, sorry. The hair just ruins everything for me. See, you know, I'll give credit where it's due. The judge has a really nice beard, but aside from that, there's not much else to say about him. See, I don't think I ever want to meet the person who would say yes to Manfred von Karma. He just looks evil, like look at that! I mean, the suit's nice, but that is not saving him this case. D. Yeah, I'll take a pass on Yanni Yogi as well. It's clear that he doesn't even know where he is right now. I mean, if someone wants to take the responsibility of fixing him, that'd be my guest. But I'm not willing to do that right now. And Emma Sky is 16, and unlike Maya, does not appear in the trilogy afterwards, so I can't give her the same pass. So, go to jail. Lana Sky, however, is pretty decent. She's very stoic, it doesn't really show a whole lot of emotions that often, but she's also well composed. Although I will say I'm not really a big fan of her no-bang hairstyle, although that might just be a me thing. Either way, I'll slaughter in the B tier. You kidding me? Of course Angel Star is gonna go in S tier. She's like the Cynthia of this game. Not to mention her clothing style is immaculate. Now, her nickname, Cough Up Queen, has a lot of implications, but I'm not gonna touch on those, instead just put her in S. Damon Gant? Oh yeah, he's going in S tier too. This guy does not let his age get to him at all. He's got a great build, fun personality, cool fashion style, epic hair. He looks like he'd be voiced by Keith David. And that is the highest compliment I could give someone. Jake Marshall is just kind of the cool cowboy stereotype. That said, however, he does go with it pretty well. Not usually a fan of big flowing hair on guys, but you know, he pulls it off. I'll slot him in A. You know, Mike Meekins is not even a bad guy. It's clear to see he's trying his best. He has a good soul, good heart, but I'm sorry, I just can't look at him that way. He's too pure. I'll put him in C. I feel like he deserves better, but I can't bring myself to do it. Yeah, I would say Maggie Bride's pretty up there. Cute, lively, energetic, loyal, everything you want. A bit suspicious how she keeps getting involved in murder cases, but I'll let that slide for now. Oh, we're just throwing it out there. Cop Maggie looks better than Waitress Maggie. Just saying. You know, as much as Richard Wellington might be a bad guy, I can't deny. He's got something. The white scarf blue suit combo goes surprisingly well. And honestly, like the little highlight in his hair. The eyelash things under his eyes are a bit questionable, but besides that, he's pretty nice. You know, he still has that evil look, but, you know, I'll let him chill out a B for a while. Then there is Pearls, who is most definitely a child, so jail tier she goes. Okay, now hear me out. No! None of that! Shame on you! And then Morgan Fay is just Lotta Heart but turned up to 11. Like, geez Louise, how many birds are nesting in there? But besides that, I mean, she's on the older side, but she still looks fine, but the hair just ruins everything. See? And Eeny Miney is the same as April. Fine enough, but also has the evil side. The beret's nice, but that's about it. B. Francisca Von Karma? Easy yes. I mean, okay. The outfit is a bit poofy, and you know, the whole whipping thing is, uh, not something I'm into. However, she is quite pretty, I must say. How she's related to Manfred Von Karma in any way is a mystery beyond me. Also, for some reason, I could have sworn she had blue lipstick, but every other image I see of her is just normal. Am I going crazy? Probably. Alright, I can't deny. Max is pretty good looking. I mean, he's got the whole makeup and pink hair thing going on, which I'm not a fan of, but everything else about him checks out. The physique, the open jacket, he just looks like a model. I think he's worth an A tier. And Regina Berry is 16, so jail. Okay, now if we were ranking just Trilo, easiest S tier of my life. I mean, he's got it all. The drip, the swagger, the hair. I mean, come on, what else is there? But unfortunately, he is a combo package with Ben, who is kinda just mad. He just looks so depressing. I don't wanna look at him anymore, I'm getting sad. I'm sorry, Trilo, you don't deserve this, but I'm gonna have to put you guys in C. Ah, uh, you know, I feel bad talking about Mo, cause 
He really is just a guy trying to make people smile, he enjoys his job, and he's just a fun-loving guy overall. But I've said it before in another video, I am NOT a fan of clowns. It's not even that they're scary, it's just that they're not attractive. Sorry Mo, have fun the D tier. You know, for being a murderer, Akro's a pretty chill guy. He just likes birds, okay? Just let him be. That said, while he might be in a wheelchair, he's still got a great physique and an interesting enough fashion style to where I can say, yeah, he looks pretty good. Overall, very solid. A. I mean, Matt on guard A would already be like, I don't know, a B. The over-the-eye hair bang and the clothing style doesn't really suit me. And then he has the evil side, which looks even worse. So I'm just gonna drag him down to C. And then there's Adrian Andrews. I mean, what can I say? She's got the hair, the bod, the glasses, the notebook. She's got it all. S tier. Looking past the fact that he's assassin, he would probably be like C or B, but that stitch line throughout the entire center of his head is very distracting. So no, D. Dahlia Hawthorne. Now, she is quite possibly the most evil person on this entire list. However, we can't deny she's not half bad. I mean, they make it a point in the game to show how delicate and ladylike she is. Although if I had to say one thing, her hairstyle's a little weird. The braids on top of her hair are kinda whack. Also, to reiterate, she's evil, so, you know. Still, I have to give her A tier, just cuz. You know, Ronda Light's problem is that he wants to be him so bad, but he knows deep in his heart that he never will. He's like me for real! But with that said, he honestly looks pretty good. I've said before that the pretty boy aesthetic is not my thing. However, he rocks it pretty well with a funky hairstyle, as well as his mask to mask cosplay. I'm gonna be nice and give him a B. Luke at me on the other hand? No. First of all, the nose. I find that highly offensive, sir. Second of all, the hair. What is that? Also, that's not even a monocle, it's just a magnifying glass. Go to the D tier where you belong. And I don't know how he did it, but my man Ronda Light got one of the baddest women in the series. I mean, I will question the earrings that just look like car wheels, but besides that, I see no reason not to put her in S. She even rides a motorcycle, like, what else? And speaking of S tier, I believe my man Godot also has a case for being in there. Whether it's before or after the incident, my man is stylin'. My man looks like El Tigre all grown up. I mean, come on, he's got the build, he's got the goatee, and he's got the choice of black or white hair, depending on the version, which both look great. Not to mention the confidence. Also, the visor's pretty cool. I want none of you debating me on this. I feel like there's so much to say about G. Armstrong, but I'm scared to. Like, you know, I'm happy he seems to enjoy himself, but, uh, I won't deny that he's a little creepy. Also, his hair is very curly now looking at it. I think I'm just gonna put him in C. He's not terrible, but, like, just so not what I'm looking for in this. I mean, the biggest thing about Victor Kudo is that nose. Like, what is the story behind that? Is it like a medical disease? Has he had it all his life? Did it just get bruised one day? I'm very curious to see what a young Victor Kudo looks like, because honestly, nose aside, he looks pretty decent. I'm sure this man was quite the looker back in his day. Or not. Could go either way, honestly. Furio Tigre is El Tigre if he went on the dark side. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this at D as well. Not only is his skin all red, he is also a terrifying beast of a man who even the judge fears. I kinda don't want to go near him at all. The thing with Terry Falls is, he honestly looks pretty normal. It's mostly just the tattoos on his face and his weird mannerisms. I mean, with that said though, he's still nothing special and the tattoos or whatever just bring him down. It also doesn't help that the only suit we see him in is his prison suit, so that doesn't help him either. So I'm just gonna put him in C. I can't say I'm the biggest fan of Bikini either. Lovely lady. Not for me. Honestly, I'm more curious about the guy who decided to name this character Bikini. Maybe the next game we'll see her husband Speedo. Iris is Dahlia, but good. I mean, I'll say I'm conflicted on whether or not I prefer or dislike the black hair. I don't know, something looks weird to me, like, is it just too glossy? I can't really tell. Either way, she's pretty much the same as Dahlia, so I'll just put her next to her. And with that, we have covered everyone. This was a very bizarre list to make, though I must say, it feels good going back to my roots. And hey, if you made it this far, then please tell me if you agree or disagree with any of my placings. I'm honestly very curious where these would rank. Although, am I forgetting someone? Oh yeah, there was the second judge. I mean, he's pretty much the same as the first judge, but a little bit younger. I'll just probably put it next to him. I probably still prefer the old judge overall, but you know. Okay, now that's everyone. Wait a minute. Well, I guess there was... No. No, i have forbidden to speak about him. He's committed too many crimes, I can't bring him up! Oh god, it's too late.
Oh, yeah.